In this video we're going to show you how to set the limits, so that's the top and the bottom positions where the blind will stop. Uh, the procedure that I'm going to show you could be the same for a Roman blind because the sequence of buttons that we're going to press is exactly the same. For the curtain track systems you don't need to do this because you open and close and the limits are automatically set. But you can set additional limits if you want, maybe you want to cut out glare or something like that, in which case you would use this procedure. I'm going to use this handset, which is a YR2016 timer control handset. But uh, the button combination is exactly the same, whether it's this handset or another. The procedure that I'm going to go through is the same on all of them. So, OK, when you first get the uh, motor on the roller blind, for example, it's in what they call dead man's mode. So you press the button and it only goes in a couple of inches at maximum and it stops. And that's a safety feature that's built in because you don't want to hit a button and then the blind automatically keeps going on, on and on and on uh, and wraps itself out of the cassette or, or you know, causes damage somehow. OK, so we're going to set the top limit first. So what we do is on the back of the handset, you'll see there's a little hole inside there. There's a program button. So what we do is we press the program button, press it in and keep it pressed. You'll hear a little click. And then we press the up direction because that's the limit we're setting, keeping both these buttons pressed together until the motor responds. There we go. Now the limit's not set, it's just in learning mode. So what we do now is we'll take it to where we want it. And uh, incidentally, the button's on the side here because you'll notice when you, when you drive this, it goes a couple of inches at a time and it's hard to get it to exactly where you want the blind to stop. So we've got these side buttons here. So if you press them, they sort of move just a couple of millimetre at a time so you can really fine-tune where you want the blind. Okay for the purpose of this video I'm going to say that that's acceptable where that is. So what we can do now to lock it in that top position what we do is we go back to the program button on the back of the handset we press it until it clicks keeping it pressed and then we get a response back from the motor. Now that limit is locked in. Because we haven't set both limits we're still in uh, dead man's mode. Like that. So what we'll do is we'll take the blind to where we want it. Incidentally, if you keep the button pressed when it's in this mode, it will travel for more than a, a couple of inches, but as soon as you let go, it stops. Okay, I'm going to say that's near as where I want it. So the procedure is the same. We go back to the handset. On the back of the handset, we've got the uh, program button. We, keep, we press that and we keep it pressed. Now we're doing the bottom limit, so this time we press the down button. Keeping them both pressed at the same time, we get a response from the motor. Once it's done that, it's in learning mode. The limit's not set, it's just in learning mode. So let's say you know we're going to be a little bit fussy and we want the we want to set the, the there, we're happy with that particular position. Uh, so now to lock that in, we go back to the handset, the program button on the back, we press it. Keep it pressed until we get a response from the motor. And that's it. Now when you hit the button, hit it once, let go. Now the motor's out of dead man's mode and it will go between limits. Okay, and now the same for the bottom. Press it, let go. 